Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel once again. Glad to have you, etc. If you're new here, consider subscribing. It's free, by the way. Okay, not a block theme orientated tutorial today, but it's something that I do quite a bit for my clients. Kind of gives it a little extra sparkle when you hand over a website, and that is customizing the WordPress login. Oh yes, indeed. Now, there are a zillion plugins that do it to, that customize the that you can use to customize the login specifically and there's tons of other plugs that have got that on the side if you like but it is incredibly easy to do it yourself with just a little bit of css and one simple wordpress function yes and i'm going to show you how in today's tutorial customize your wordpress login all right, let's get customizing our WordPress login. Uh, 2024 here, standard-ish install. Here's the login. Let's make that look a little bit nicer. Over to our admin, and I've got a child theme here for the 2024 theme. Don't know how to set up a child theme properly for a block theme. Link is in the card above and also in the description below. You can, of course, use a code snippet plugin or of course, if you've got a parent custom theme, then of course, stick it in your functions there. Right, let's get onto the code. I've got the uh, editor open here with the child of 2024, and we do indeed have our functions here. We need to add some code to this. I've got a template that we can kick things off with. Here we go. It's our customized WP login template.php file is available for download in the description. And it's, look, I mean, look, it's pretty straightforward. It's a, it's a, a function custom login CSS. It's an action which puts that result of that function into the login head, which is specifically only on the login pages or the forgotten password, etc. And it calls that function and it just returns a load of text it just happens to be a CSS style element. So we need to get some styles in here. Let's get back to our front end. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's actually get that into our functions of our site. There we go. Uh, we can close that down now. So let's have a look at what styles we want to change. Now, number one on everyone's to-do list when you're customizing the login is, of course, the logo. We've got a logo here. Let's inspect that. Let's make that a little bigger. Let's hover over the whole thing and go copy rule. That'll give us all of this stuff. You could, could, of course, you know, just copy and paste it like that. All your inspectors will be the same kind of vibe there. Let's get to our functions and let's slide that in. And we need to get rid of everything we don't need to worry about. And we'll leave in the stuff for the background image. Now, of course, we'll get that spare there going. Now, of course, we don't want uh, the logo. We want our own logo. Save that. Let's go to our admin and go to our media. I have prepared a little here. So I've got a logo placeholder here. So we'll just copy the link to that and we'll go back to our url and slide that in commas like that and let's just resize that so we can see what we're doing okay so that's all looking good in fact let's just there is our first bit of css let's see what that's saying in the front end refresh oh my logo is looking a little small let's have a look at what the css is doing let's inspect that right let's see what's going on here we want to change the background size to contain that's okay that's okay we'll just we'll just make that center actually we'll take all the margin off it and we'll give it a width of 100%. There we go. Just so we can control the width of it, we'll give it a height of, say, 60px, maybe a little less. There you go. That'll do. Right. Let's again, let's grab that rule in its entirety, get back to our code, and we'll just completely overwrite that as we know that's exactly what we want. Back to our login, refresh. That's all still in place. Beautiful. Right. What else can we do? Well, we can certainly look at the background color here. So let's uh, have a look at what the body class is doing. We see that we do have the body class. Let's change that to light blue. That'll do. Let's grab that again. Copy that. Let's get back to our code and let's delete everything that we don't need because the rest of that will come in with the default css now what i would suggest is that belt and braces is take the overall class for the login page and if we look here so we've got body class equals login and all the rest of it belt and braces is just to make sure over qualified as it is we put that in let's get back to our login and refresh that and yeah everything's still good right what else can we do let's inspect that with our inspector pointer that's the form and you can see it's login 
dot login form let's um let's create a new rule and we'll just target the id there and we will say that we don't want a border none and we'll have a border radius of 10px starting to take shape a little wouldn't you say let us grab that and get back to our function and get that in our little CSS offering. Right, what else can we do? The button here is the default WordPress color. So let's uh, inspect that. And that is our input WP submit. Let's create a new rule for that. And we'll say background is red and it's got a border in it. So let's make the border red as well. We can change these in a second. So let's get that in our little CSS function. That's all cool. Refresh. All still looking good. Now, I don't know about you, but I think these text fields here should be aligned center. So let's have a, well, let's get the inspector picker here. Let's have a look there. So that's that. That is the p.nav, id nav. And that is the back to blog id. Okay, that's cool. Because what we can do is we can actually nick both of those, create a new rule, use that as the rule, and we can go uh, text align center. Shazam um that's okay so let's plonk that in there for now and quick refresh make sure that all is saving up nicely okay so generally speaking looking pretty good but let's be honest it's not really amazing is it and i reckon we should get a little background image on there what do you say so let's get back to our code up, up to our original body class where it's currently just light blue we're going to add a background image now in actual fact let's just go grab this stuff here we can just reuse that under here plonk that in uh, instead of contain we'll have cover the rest of it should just work now of course we don't want the logo as the background image oh no we do not uh, let's go back to our admin and pick out one of our lovely little images let's go for uh wavy white building copy that to the clipboard let's get that into the code let's make that a little smaller drop that in there okay that i think is okay let's have a look refresh oh i say not bad what other images have we got there maybe something a little a little bit whiter that that actually that oh hang on what's that one let's try that one drop that in yeah i think that's better right so that's pretty much it. But of course, we can just sort of like start really getting into it and tweaking away. Let's get back to our submit. And we want that uh, like a gray. Uh, in fact, I know it's the light, oop, light slate gray is a bit muted and the border will make that as well. Uh, and we can even go as crazy as you see this icon here. Oh, actually, let's just get that copy that rule and slide that into our where is it submit section let's get that on there light slate gray thank you very much now you see that icon here is actually blue it's actually controlled by the um pseudo before class there but actually if we do if we take the dash dashicon class and add a little before on there and we go color gray i mean it's a tiny little tweak but you can see what you can do here and we'll throw that into our cheeky CSS function. And I do believe we are done for now. Keep tweaking, but that's how you customize your, your login. So pretty cool stuff there. Customizing your login makes it look a bit special for your clients when you hand it over. And if you want another little bit of WordPress action, here's another video that might float your boat. But until next time, I shall see you later.